this is an adjuster right here these threads need to be pretty clean especially I'm not changing these shoes so I'm probably not going to adjust them but it's turning free I have seen them be dried up and you couldn't move those so that actually looks pretty good a lot of brake, a lot of brake fluid on this back and plate and on the back of these shoes and all in here let's say I wipe off as much as I can of it and then uh, get me a rag with some uh, some uh, paint thinner on it. Wipe it all up and wipe out the inside of that drum there. I'll put it back together. This isn't a customer's car, it's my car. What'll happen when you brake, there's a couple things that can happen. You get brake fluid on a, or grease on a brake, it'll either catch and drag or it'll uh, lose some stopping power. This is not a customer's car, it's mine. I'm willing to live with whatever whatever happens with whatever I do here, so I ain't worried about none of that. I ain't scared. I ain't scared about it. If I can stretch that that much or not. I'm gonna have to put it on there and then that spring on it. That would be okay too if I have to. I've done worse with things. Mm. Let me find my little stuff here. Let's set y'all over here. When I was a boy, I used to drive a trailer truck for UPS over on Fulton Industrial Boulevard in Atlanta. On the other side of I-20, there was a factory called Raylock, and Raylock used to rebuild car parts. And they'd rebuild. I had a buddy named Chuck. He worked over at Raylock. I worked over at UPS. I started out loading trucks, and then I wound up driving trucks for them. Well, I used to swing over to Raylock from time to time to see Chuck. And he'd be in there and have a whole bin full of these old, back in the day used to, you get new, uh, you get new shoes, you turn the old ones in, you get a core charge on them, you get a core refund or whatever. Uh, get a few dollars back, and they'd take them out of Raylock and they'd redo them, make them new again. Good as new. And that way you wind up instead of them having to make the whole thing over, you get a nice little rebuild set. Oh, that worked out real nice. I don't know if Raylock still exists or not. I don't know if they're still there. I don't know whatever happened to Chuck either. He was a good egg though. I liked him a lot. He had a uh, 56 Chevy in high school with a burnt valve in it. He drove with really have the money to fix it and he couldn't afford to tear it down because he needed it to drive. It's the only car he had. And, uh, you hear him coming, that old 283 would be chugging with that burnt valve. <laughs> oh, she was a good one. I'm getting to watch a little football this evening. Honey Baby's got something cooking in the house there. So, I got nothing but good things to be happening today. After I get this done, I'll uh, bleed this out. What you do on here is you put that on there and turn it. That holds that spring in there, and that holds this drum on here. You get everything else lined up, and you put these other springs on. I got one at the bottom. This one on the bottom is probably going to be the hardest one to get on there. Uh, but I can do it. <laughs> 